The main driver of climate change is greenhouse gas emissions. Forests are one of our ways out. They are like the lungs of the planet. They are big climate regulators at a global scale. July 23rd, 1972. My work has always been about monitoring the land surface and forest. Thrusting outward into space, we gain new perspective on ourselves. Since 1972 till now, Landsat has been tracking and taking pictures of the Earth's surface. Circling the Earth, it offers an ideal means to monitor change. I mean, it's hard to imagine how we used to do this, but for the first 20 years of the mission, people were tracking the land surface on essentially hard copy photos and drawing on them. And in 2008, the US government says it's open free of charge and accessible over the internet. Millions of images automatically. It's just this huge leap in capability. It was only then where we saw the whole planet. And when you see the whole, it was a bit of a revelation. And yeah, the, the alarm bells go off. These warm, orangey tones, that's forest disturbance. That means forest was removed. We didn't know that was going on. Colombia, Peru, Paraguay, Bolivia. We can go anywhere and see actual forest be cleared. It usually starts with logging. Rainforests are cleared and burned. They then replace it with soybeans, rubber, pasture for cattle. But one of the big drivers is palm oil. Palm oil is like a, a magical fruit. We all have palm oil in our houses right now. It's found in almost every good you can think about. It's in soaps, it's in shampoo, it's in chocolate, it's in bread, it's even in crisps. What we're doing accidentally and inadvertently is actually causing deforestation in other countries because of our demand for this product. That means the natural system is not working habitats are disappearing. But also when these high carbon stock forests that are centuries old are cleared and burned, CO2 is added to the atmosphere. Those emissions go up and warm the planet. When you look at our maps, our results are showing that it's, a, it's, it's accelerating. It almost looks like a contagion, you know, it looks like a a disease across the planet. I mean, the, the, the ever-increasing pattern. If we continue this level of deforestation, we'll take it all. Boom, there goes the forest. And our ability to mitigate climate change and turn the story around becomes really vanishingly small. Trees are now being cut down and burnt at such a rate that nearly a third of carbon dioxide emissions are caused by deforestation. It sucks. I'm a pretty lighthearted, optimistic guy. But just looking at these data, you just looking at the stories, it's like, uh, you know, uh, I'd like to see some evidence of, of really strong, strong kind of unified political response that was more than an aspiration on a kind of piece of paper, right? That would be cool.